For organizations using Microsoft AIP, Zscaler's integration provides a valuable way to improve data security and hygiene within their existing ecosystem. Zscaler's integration can be broken into two parts. Real-time scanning allows Zscaler to identify sensitive documents that have been tagged. In this case, if a user tags a document with an internal or sensitive tag, Zscaler can then scan that document for that tag and using its inline DLP can enforce blocking so that data does not leave the organization. This provides a valuable inline scanning aspect to Microsoft AIP's ecosystem. The second part of Zscaler's integration is scanning data at rest. In this case, Zscaler can import all your AIP tags and allow you to write a policy that allows you to scan data at rest within your cloud for sensitive information that has not been tagged. If a document is found that has not been tagged properly, Zscaler then can apply the proper sensitive tag so that data now is labeled properly and it can be handled correctly within the AIP ecosystem. Let's see how this looks within the Zscaler interface. So inside of your Microsoft 365 account, if you go into the admin portal, we're gonna go and navigate to the MIP labels. So once in the admin portal, we're gonna to go to the compliance section. And then this is where we're gonna find the information protection labels. So this is the actual labels that are built throughout the environment. So all of our users will receive this labels inside of this environment. And then you also have the policies that are applied to this label, these labels if necessary, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna work to get those labels pulled into the ZIA tenant. And essentially what we're gonna do is also assign this to the end users, which once assigned to the end users, they'll receive a sensitivity icon. So all these AIP or MIP labels are then gonna be under the sensitivity component here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a document with the personal label. And we're gonna save this document to the desktop. All right. So now we have a file created with the sensitivity label. So now what we wanna do is we wanna get this label information pulled into the ZIA tenant so that that way we can actually use it and as a decision maker in our DLP policies, right? So we're gonna log into our ZIA tenant. So once in the tenant, <clears throat> what we're gonna do here is we're gonna to go to admin and then go to Microsoft Information Protection and I'm gonna add an MIP account. So this is where I'm building the API between ZIA and Microsoft and we're gonna build that API connection between the two. All right. You're gonna give yourself a name to the MIP account that you're attaching and hit save. And then go to activation, activate. All right. Refresh this page. So we now have 13 labels brought into the environment and there's that first label personal, right? So now if I go to a browser and this is a, a Google Drive, for example, and I take that file from the desktop and I drag and drop that file, that file will be allowed to be uploaded, okay? So we wanna block that file based off the MIP label. So now we're gonna go back to the ZIA tenant. We're gonna create a dictionary and we're gonna add a DLP dictionary and we're gonna choose the personal. We're gonna do it from MIP and we did it personal and just to validate on this Word document. Sensitivity, personal, okay. So we're choosing that personal and that creates the dictionary. Okay, using the MIP label. Now I'm gonna go create an engine. Whoop. And I'm gonna choose that dictionary we just created. 
hit save here. Now I'm going to use this as a rule in a DLP rule. All right, so we're going to add a rule with content inspection. And I'm going to add mine in my environment to two. We're going to choose the MIP label. And then our action is going to be to block. And we're going to send this DLP event. Inline DLP. OK. Now in my ZIA tenant, I have the MIP label we're looking for. We're setting it to block it. And now we're going to activate it. And we're going to refresh this session just to make sure. And now what we're going to do is we're going to attempt to upload that file with the test label. And now we got a block, right? So if I actually go to the end user that we we're sending the notifications to, we go to Outlook and the notification we're just receiving here. This is where I'm doing my MIP personal label block. And now we're blocking MIP personal labels to all assets out on the web through inline DLP.